Capricorn, baby. What's going on? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. We are here to find out what it do for August. Yes, indeed. What's going on for the month of August 2019 for my Cappies? You know what's happening, okay? Yes, indeed. That's about what's going on with my lovely, lovely Capricorns. Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Everything that we do over here at Scorpion Reds, especially Scorpion Reds Tarot. If there's anyone that watches the morning slide with me, why don't you, you know... Take your little fingers in going over to that little merch link so you can get a Scorpion Reds The Morning Slide mug so you can sip your tea with me. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Shout out to everyone for all of the support. Um, I want to go over house announcements, of course. If there's anyone who wants to book a personal or private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, only thing you need to do is go on over to the About tab. All my links are there. Um, book with me, then link up with me. So you'll see a link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that and select the reading that you want. Then make sure that you link up with me. You have two platforms to choose from. You can either send me a message on Instagram. My link to my Instagram is directly under the booking which says Instagram, or you can use my email and you can download um, this app called Google Hangouts. I believe the only thing you need is your email as well. So um, once you download the application, you use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, and send me a message on Google Hangouts. And after you book your reading, we will connect there for the video chat. If you do not want to get on camera for the video chat, or if you want to record your reading, so you can go back and look at it later on to remember. If you can't remember what was being said and you want to record it, that's always an option. There's an add-on in the menu when you're booking your reading. It's called um, Private Upload slash Recap. You can purchase that with the reading that you're selecting. And if you don't want to get on camera, you can just easily just, you know, when you connect with me and say, hey, Reds, this is so and so. I booked with you at this date and time. You can easily say, hey, Reds, I don't want to get on camera, but here's my question. And I'll record the reading and I'll upload you a private link to YouTube. And then you can go and check it out at your leisure, okay? And then for my people that are ordering the recap after we finish doing our reading, give me about 24 to 48 hours. I'll upload the video to YouTube. I'll send it back to you on the link that we been chatting on and you can go back and look at the video as much as you want so um if there's anyone that has any questions about booking a reading or anything like that you can send me a message at scorpionreds at gmail.com thank you again to everyone who has been liking sharing and subscribing thank you to everyone who has been sending support as you guys know you are a freaking amazing shout out to everyone who's been sending in love and support through paypal um Thank you. You know, when these videos resonate, you guys always send love, so I appreciate it. And we got some new decks. We got the Unicorn playing card deck here. We got the Game of Thrones playing card deck here, which we will be using today. I also got, um, this is the Mystic Murdra deck. It's actually a, a deck that has yoga techniques in there. It's really amazing. I use it for my personal in the morning. Like, and... It's like really amazing. So all the other signs, they didn't see this deck because I just got it the other day. Shout out, shout out to everyone who's been sending love and light to the page. Oh, and then I also, what also came in is the Soul's Journey deck. So I haven't used this yet. So um, as you, as you know, there's going to be more to come, more to come. So again, thank you to everyone who's been sending love to the page. Have it be through Google. I mean have it be through Amazon wishlist or through PayPal. I thank you guys so much for the love, light, and support. And thank you guys so much. Um, thank you to everyone who sends me these emails to my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. When these videos resonate, because sometimes I'm like, y'all let me know if this resonates so I can know I'm not crazy. Like, And you guys email me and y'all share y'all stories with me so I can just know that I'm doing the right thing and that I'm saying the right things and that I'm being leaded and got it in the right way to give you guys the correct direction. So thank you guys to everyone who's been reaching out to me saying like, no, Reg, you're not tripping. This is what's going on with me. This is exactly what's going on in my life. So I appreciate 
all the communication and all the love because you know we are a community let's just get some prayer over this reading father god thank you so much for bringing us here for my lovely lovely my beautiful capricorns i appreciate all the love light and abundance that has been shining on us you know cappies is on the way up we don't give a what okay we are on the way up capricorns is not playing no games this time okay we are not playing no games for the rest of this year we are taking everything that got our name on it we are cleaning up our act and we just getting that act right father Father God, and I thank you so much for some, you know, you know, sometimes you gotta put your hands over our neck, be like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But Father God, like, don't ever think that we're not listening. Don't ever think that we're not learning and we're not healing. It's a day to day process, Father God. And I thank you so much for enriching us. I thank you so much for enlisting us for this journey. And um, for a long time, I felt like Capricorn felt like we weren't prepared to take those provided steps, but we've been prepared so long ago and it's like now that we've actually been walking along our journey and our path we're realizing just how capable and just how deserving that we actually are and like major blessings have been coming to our life we've been having some major setbacks too but major setbacks for an awesome takeover you know what i'm saying this ain't this ain't setbacks for a, a positive outcome it's a positive outcome but it's a takeover going down. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just like small blessings. No, it's an abundance of blessings. Like we, our life is being taken over by our blessings. And we are being shown our work and our deservingness. Do you understand? We deserve these blessings. We deserve this hard work that we're putting in for this change. We deserve it, Father God. Thank you so much for showing our worth and showing us how deserving that we are. And then we want to continue to push forward regardless of what's went on in our past, regardless of what people has, has to say about us. It's about what we look in that mirror and what we think about ourselves. And we are kings. We are queens. We are empress. We're empresses and we are emperors. And we are Capricorn and we already know what's going on because we know what's going on inside of us Father God so thank you so much for that blessing glory please give us guidance for my sign of Capricorn for the month of uh, August and thank you again for all the blessings and lessons in the past present and future and most definitely thank you so much for the positive and the blessings coming to us in the future Father God please give us guidance yes Lord come on now come on Cappies let's make it happy okay Let's make them happy today. Okay, let's see what they got to say. Let's see. Capricorn said, the only thing I'm trying to do is make everybody happy. I'm just trying to make everybody happy. I feel like that's the that's the that's the story that's been plaguing Capricorn's life for a long time. And it's just because they've been trying to make everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it should just be blowing up a Capricorn face. You ever try to be a good person sometimes and do the right thing and to blow up in your face? <laughs> like, shit, I might as well have kept doing what I was doing, okay? Autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. Listen, come on now. Listen. Autumn is my last chance. You guys are feeling, remember when I say in fall we gonna have it all? You guys been listening to that, but it ain't your last chance, baby. That's your first chance in a billion do you get me? It's all about a change of energy. You better pick yourself up. Look at yourself. Look at how dreadful and how sad and how worried you look, baby. I need you to put some glow in that eyes, baby. Put your glow on, baby. That's your first chance in a million of many blessings, of millions of a multitude of blessings that are coming to you. And it says, please don't lose hope. Let's read what that means, okay? Please do not lose hope. This says, time to stop relying on others for that comfort, warmth, and substance that only truly self-love can bring. Waiting for others to give you what you need will be a long and lonely, bone-chilling time. All right? So don't wait. Look at what you already have. Turn to it and feast on it. Learn to love, appreciate this apple that's in your hand and save its seeds of self-love and plant them. From this one remaining magical apple comes the gift of wisdom, comes self-love, comes abundance, and comes the knowledge that you are a person who deserves to care for and love your own self. 
Once you take one big bite of this juicy red apple, you will be committing yourself to loving yourself and self-help. And then you will be free of the need for approval, shelter, and rescue. There is only one true rescue, and it comes with the miracle of self-life. Go ahead and eat that apple. God is giving you abundant fruit. And abundant fruit that if you use it wisely, and that's it, and you got to understand, that's why God puts us through the struggles that we're in, you know? And you feel like this is your last chance, you down to the last apple you're down to your last bit of resources but you don't even realize that that apple got seeds in it it's not just for you to eat and throw the core the pit of it away honey you take them seeds out of it and you nurture it and you plant it honey and you'll have not one but a couple two or three apple trees honey where well, you can have as many apples as you want that could feed you and your family for a lifetime you have blessed fruitful land it's all about your thinking. It's all about your thinking and the way you go about things. It ain't your last chance. I told you. You better take a bite of that juicy apple. Savor it. Savor the taste. And just know that you are deserving of tasting that every day for the rest of your life. That's why God gave you that magical apple, baby. You better use it for its purpose. And you better plant those seeds and stop worrying. You understand? God gave you a blessing, but you ain't looking at the blessing that's in your hand, baby. Do you get me? Don't you dare cry. Don't you dare get worried. Uh-uh. Not when you got life. Not when you got a miracle in your hands. Uh-huh. You better get over that past trauma and stop holding on to somebody that ain't even know the value of themselves. Why are you thinking so much about how things was in the past and when things were good and when things were working? And not only that, you're dealing and you're holding on to a lot of childhood trauma that you really need to go seek some counseling about, Okay. You need to release it and let it go because that's the reason why you've been repeating cycles over and over and over again. Holding on to a man. I feel like a lot of you guys have daddy issues. Your father wasn't around. A lot of you guys have been searching and reaching for love in the form of a male body or a female body. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because this is someone of lack. This is someone of lack. This is someone that does not know how to maintain their own abundance. They have to go and take from others and leech off others. Or, you know, only put in half of the effort but want all of the take home. And that ain't the way it works. Either you, yourself, are a Capricorn man. And you are in this state of lack because of things that happen in your life. I feel like you didn't have... Many good resources in your past when you were a child to really show you anything better. Do you understand what I'm saying? To teach you anything so that you can go out there and learn how to take care of your land and to plant positive seeds that can give you abundant, fruitful land. No one taught you that. You could have had an absentee mother and an absentee father if this is a, a Capricorn man. I'm feeling an absentee mother and father. I feel like your grandmother raised you and or you are a foster, uh, foster child. Okay? And for the uh, Capricorn females, you might have dealt with some childhood trauma as well. And I feel like you guys are running around chasing a father figure because you never had one at home. And also, you always seen your mother doing that as well. And the type of men that your mother chased were people that ain't give her shit neither. So you just recycling patterns and cycles, you know. And it's like a generational curse that needs to be broken, you know. You are feeling like this is my last chance, especially if you have kids. If you guys have kids, I believe that apple is your child and that is your seed. That is your seed. And it's like, I not only do I deserve to be this beautiful and this loving mother that I am. I know what happened to me and I know why I've hold on to certain toxic men and people that don't give me things or this man holds on to situations and just you know and it like i said the six of cups can also denote someone that has drug addictions either this person has a drug addiction issue they have past sexual trauma uh issues um past home based issues due to neglect or something you know what i'm saying it's like some type of deep rooted issue here what is this the lovers yeah the lovers the lovers here. I really do feel like it's a repetitive cycle of toxic lovers, men and or women who don't really put the work into the relationship. 
They don't put the work into the relationship and or that you guys could have had a multitude of lovers. That just didn't amount to a damn thing. Yeah, lovers that turn out to be traitorous. Do you understand? Lovers that turn out to be treacherous and traitorous. I don't even know if traitorous is a word, but bitches won't be a word the motherfucker day. You understand? And I feel like this Capricorn, you allow people to stab you in your back more times than you should have ever allowed them to do it. Because you watched other people do it. You watched other people do it. The King of Cups, y'all could possibly be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a, uh, about to say a Sagittarius. Y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius too, but you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay? Or you can be dealing with, um, what is this, this king of uh, coins right here. This is a Taurus. This is another Capricorn. Or this is a uh, Virgo. So, let me get one more card, you guys. You guys are ready to change the style of partners. You guys want someone more mature, someone um, that is not only handsome, but giving with their heart. Yeah, okay. Multiple partners. Got you. I feel like you guys just cannot find something that sticks. Something that. Um, I feel like there's a lot of confusion in regards to the type of people that you date. I definitely feel this is someone that has a multitude of lovers. Um, and that people could be looking at the Capricorn as their traitor because they have a multitude of lovers. And you're dating people that don't give you shit. It don't amount to nothing. So this King of Cups could be looking at you like, how could you ever be confused like about me? Okay. You guys could be actually dating a good person, but you have so many different options of different choices of people that you can choose from. You are so blind and you can't represent, you can't represent good versus evil. And I'm not even trying to take it that deep, good versus evil, but I am going to say it like that because Capricorns can have very addictive behavior patterns. And it's like you guys are addicted. Like when you guys see these, the good ones, the good ones, the ones that are giving you your heart, the ones that give you the time, the attention, that are trying to nurture you, be affectionate and everything like that, open up their heart to you. You guys get confused because you're not used to that type of love. You guys are used to loving the ones that remind you of your father the ones that remind you of the toxic relationship that you've seen in your household or you know i really do feel like someone was a foster child ever they never had parents period they didn't have parents period and that's the childhood trauma ever there was some sexual trauma or do you, do you you guys understand what I'm saying? Because this person is having cycle after cycle after cycle that they're needing the break of dating the wrong type of people. And it's like you guys fall in love with the traitors. You guys fall in love with the bad ones. But then when the good ones come, you get confused because it don't feel like this. It's like sex, drugs, rock and roll, danger, risk. Like y'all like that for some reason. And... That's why you're feeling like this is my last chance. I really do feel like uh, you guys are starting to recognize that I'm almost stabbing my own self in the, in, the, in the back. You know, I'm hurting my own self by keep entertaining people that are not giving me anything. It's like the same shit, different toilet all over and over again. I'm dating people that didn't give me shit just like my mother did. Um... A lot of the partners that you could be dating, it could be, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Codependent, because there could be substance, substance, substance issues with the Six of Cups in the reverse. Like, you guys could have, you guys, like, could drink together and y'all have a drink together, drug together, club together, or y'all just have extreme sexual kinks or something that you guys understand each other on that level or y'all have the same uh, amount of trauma and that's why you love these ones this deep because i feel like they understand your level of trauma do you understand what i'm saying but even though y'all are fucked up and y'all toxic for each other this one don't have shit you know what i'm saying because they understand look Life has stabbed them in the back millions of times as well like they had a fucked up upbringing too so i feel like that's why you guys connect this fucking deep. That's why you guys 
connect deep on this level but it's like at the end of the day you gotta know that you are deserving of a better love do you understand what i'm saying because how do you know that this king of cups might not have experienced the same type of upbringing that you did this person just don't show it this just because this person see capricorns feel like just because i had a fucked up life i gotta walk around everybody gotta know it you understand what i'm saying this king of cups is reserved in a lot of water signs are very secret, secretive. They don't have to prove shit to anybody. They don't have to tell. They don't like everybody knowing their fucking business. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like the people that you dealing with, y'all be up in the saloon having like two or three motherfucker cups and shit like that. And in this one, it's like I don't need all of that. I learned that that shit just brings me a whole bunch of confusion. Listen, I'm saying this is the reason why he's like that because this person had a, a more fucked up childhood to you. They know better. But you don't give those type of people a chance to see if they know you like that. You just want to be and deal with the toxic people that could feed your addictions, that feed your, your hurt or your, um, I'm trying to, that just feed that I've been hurt. I grew up like this. This is why I'm like this. This is why I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like you deal with people that kind of feed that energy versus people that, yeah, I grew up like that. I went through a fucked up stage in my life, but I grew up past that. And I know I don't have to live like that just because I ain't got to do that. And I'm more abundant for it because I could reach back. At, you don't understand what I'm saying? It's like, anyway, let me keep going. So, we're going to the playing card deck. Y'all will see me get some clarification from my phone. But I'm going to go intuitively off the rip. So, I didn't even ask Spirit what I wanted to ask. But anyway, we got the Nine of... Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, we got the Nine of Diamonds right here. So, basically what I'm seeing right here, we got the Nine of Diamonds and we got the Three of Hearts. So, Basically, what that's telling me is you have everything that you need on your own to be successful, to be. You have everything that you need on your own. You really don't need nobody else for you to be successful, for you to prosper, for you to reach the level of success and abundance that you want. I feel like you just want love so bad, but you attract the wrong type of love. And you're so fucking beautiful. And the fucking thing is, is y'all are amazingly talented with this nine and time. Y'all are fucking creative. Y'all are talented as shit. Your communication is just like impeccable. Like you guys could talk a goddamn nun out her panties. Do you understand what I'm saying? You guys have it. But it's like... You have it, but you give it to the wrong individuals. You have it, but you give it to the wrong individuals. Give me the items in regards to... You give it to the wrong individuals because this three of hearts can represent new love opportunities and new love blessings and stuff like that. But it also can denote the third party. You know what I'm saying? Three hearts to me, I'm sorry, that represent third party. And that's what I'm saying because of this childhood trauma or you know whatever this was about this upbringing in your lifestyle and you just chasing toxic people the people that you chase because they understand you're damaging and they're damaged too they're coming to you damaging and damaging you more you understand what i'm saying they're damaging your heart you're damaging your heart and that's why I really want you to understand. I want you to be with someone that genuinely loves you and someone that is not going to throw salt in the wound uh, after, on top of everything that you've already experienced in your childhood and your upbringing and other dating experiences. Don't keep dating people that throw salt in the fucking wound just because you're used to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Give me guidance about this lover. Um, about this lover, this king of the cups. This is Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. A lot of sevens here. A lot of sevens. It's like some withdrawal. Some big withdrawal here. Some big withdrawal. It's like... I really do feel like when people come to you that are genuinely good. And that are not, like, you guys have been stabbed in your back so many times by people that you thought loved you. This is family, 
friends, the system, your jobs, people you dated, like everything that you've loved, you feel like it stabbed you in your back at one point in time. So I feel like you guys don't even really know how to recognize true love. And then when something that seems like it's too good to true comes around your way, like a real good person, I feel like you guys withdraw. You guys withdraw from these people because you can't, it's like you cannot see goodness for whatever reason for whatever reason and it's like it ends up making you out to be the bad person and that's why people talk about that's why people talk about capricorn so bad like oh you know the devil card the addictiveness the toxic you know patterns and stuff like that y'all know Cersei ain't shit this is the queen of spades here she is very manipulative. She is very calculating. She can be cold. She can be very narcissistic. I mean, like, what she says goes. What she wants, she's going to get it by any means necessary. Do you understand what I'm saying? She's not beneath stooping to certain levels of treachery to get what it is that she wants. And she'll sit in your face and tell you that she did it and you ain't going to do shit about it. That's Cersei. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, it's like... Capricorn has two different options here. You got the same of the past and you got something new of the future. But what I want you to understand is it's not your last chance, but you need to look at your patterns, at your cycles. And in these number sevens, listen, the seven of clubs, that is work. Do you understand? You need to withdraw Sit back and contemplate and come to some level of understanding about how to better invest your time. I want you to use your wisdom. I want you to use your knowledge. I want you to use your resources so that you can get the appropriate help so that you can. I really want I mean, like, I really want you to make the, the right decisions, the right decisions. Seven, seven, seven. I want you to make right decisions and it's all about how you want things to work in your life. You know what I'm saying? If you're not willing to open up your eyes so that you can visually see what is best for you, you keep wanting to make selections with a blind eye and you want to act like you don't see certain shit. You see the shit. You just don't want to see the shit. Like I said, you act like you don't see the shit. You, you know exactly what you be doing. You have to want better and you got to have to want to work towards it in order to reach the success and to obtain the material abundance of your hard work. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's clarify, you guys. Let's clarify. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. All right, you guys. So the three of hearts represents love, beauty, happiness, new love relationships, a love triangle if surrounded by spades. All right, which is not. It's not. It's not. I just think that I really honestly feel like Capricorn is by themselves. I really want to say that you guys may be single and you guys with this number six is thinking about your obligations. You guys are trying to bring harmony into your life and you guys are just in a, in a dark phase right now. And right now you focus on new love. You understand? Feeling beautiful. Feeling right now you're feeling weary. Right now you're feeling weary. You're worried. You understand? You're feeling like you done fucked up so much that this is your last chance, but it's not, you know? Um, and then also some of you guys might be pregnant as well, all right? Because this definitely says um, creative talent, artistic ability, creative achievement, such as poetry, artwork, fertility, blood and life, prayer, religion, a growing embryo, increase of something beautiful, such as blooming flowers, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. Do you see what I'm saying? So, and then I do feel like I, I, if it's not, if you guys are not pregnant and expecting, I definitely feel like it's a budding love romance. It's a love romance, but it's just like 
on the other side of it is this is this ten is this ten of, of goddamn um swords. So I do feel like there's somebody else in your energy. I definitely feel like there's a third party. It's two different men right here, clearly. And I feel like you're in love with two different people. And you're confused. You're confused. And you're actually good on your own. I I'm I'm urging you i'm going to urge you capricorn i want you to like not make no decisions and you know that they said it don't make no decisions don't make no major decisions until after the virtual grade don't make no decisions until after you really take some time to sit back and think about this i'm gonna tell you to go with the king of hearts because that's the good man and i don't know why you confused about that one you got to change your conditioning. You know what I'm saying? What you think is good and what you are used to is really, really bad. And it's really, really toxic. And it's a shame that when someone good comes around you, something that you really deserve and you're deserving of, you get confused. And then you get manipulative and then you fuck it up. That's what I'm saying. When something good comes into your life, you get confused and then you fuck it up. Well, you're only left with the bad, and then when you're left with the bad, you sit back complaining about it, like, well, why? You know what I'm saying? The Nine of Diamonds represents extra money, a check, a bonus, the brain, mental energy, psychic ability, imagination, electricity, electric magnetic energy, uh, other people's wishes and desires that affect you, all right? Fame, celebrity, public office, bureaucratic Red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards. Do you understand? So, yeah, this could definitely be an extra party. This could be an extra party. I'm definitely taking that. And this is a lot of energy that's being... It's a lot of energy here. You've met a new lover. And I definitely feel that this is turning slowly into a love affair. This is turning into a, tra a traitorous love affair. And this is on Capricorn's part. This is a woman that's dating two different men. But one of the people that you're dealing with ain't shit. And the one I feel like that you just met is a good one. It's actually a good man. And you're confused about it. Because you're going to have to withdraw. And you're going to have to get rid of one of them. And it's like, because of that, because of that, you it's like you're turning into Cersei. Like people are looking at you like you're a bad person because... You know, you got two different people, but it's just like something had to be wrong at home and for, for you know, Capricorn to be even entertaining somebody else. That's the only thing I'm going to say. The seven of clubs represent an increase in activity or change in business or social situation, physical or mental effort, including yard work, housework, home repairs. Or even trying to fix a car. So I definitely feel like Capricorn was trying to repair the home, you know. Like I said, you guys adjusting and, and said an increase in activity. So you guys turned it up and was trying to carefully evaluate. It says it says attention to detail, carefully evaluating the situation before making a decision or taking action, keeping busy, a risk of being work overloaded, the need for some rest or relaxation, preoccupied with work. This this is a car a workaholic. Negotiation, disagreements, an argument, a feeling of restlessness or discomfort, taking on too much, making the best of a difficult situation. So, I really do feel like you guys are trying to balance between the two. And that's why you don't turn into Cersei. That's why you don't turn your ass into Cersei because right now you being manipulative. You know what I'm saying? Because... You are trying your best to hold on to two before you make a, a decision. And that's why I'm saying you're confused right now. And there really shouldn't be no confusion. You should go to who treats you better, who's giving to the situation. The King of Cups is giving. The King of Coins in reverse ain't giving you shit. They're living off of you. That person is living off of you. The Queen of Spades is an ambitious, skillful, and intelligent woman. A divorced or widowed, a lonely, or an older woman. She may be from a foreign country, okay? So your parents, are, I mean, you might be from where you're from, but your parents may be from another country. A leader, a lawyer, a health specialist, a clever woman capable of conniving and plotting. Spiteful caddy, deceptive, cold, calculating, emotionally controlled and detached. A gossip, a rival in a love or business situation. All right? All right? So, 
right now Capricorn is being sneaky. She has two different lovers. She has two different lovers. And she's confused. Do I go with the good or do I go with the bad? And it's like the bad feels so good. You know what I'm saying? The seven of diamonds. Financial achievement, reward, and recognition. Earn success, steady improvement. Efforts rewarded. Lucky money wins. A pay raise. Improved prospects. A nest egg. Financial investment. Stocks trading in uh, e-bonds or e-trading or something like that. Like I said, you need to make a choice. You need to make a choice. Your upbringing has affected the way you operate and love like really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? You feel like this is your last chance to make the right decision. And I hope that you realize that you can cut that apple open, eat half of it, save the other half for later, and plant the core and create a apple tree. It's not your last chance. Like, you just need to sit back and withdraw yourself from the situation and think about what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, if you are doing the same shit that what was taught to you, you know, you're not being any better than the same people that you were complaining about. I really do feel like this person has turned into their mother or their father. You understand what I'm saying? Like, now... You're doing the same shit that you seen was going on in your home. The letter. It's going to be some type of message or communication of some sort. Oh, someone's getting cut off. You guys are going to receive a, a text message or something that, you know, you're being broken up with and you're being cut off. This is an ending. You're going to receive a message and or you're going to send a message to someone. That someone is being cut off. Who's sending the message? Who is sending this message? I just looked over at the King of Cups. I think the King of Cups is. I feel like you want to fuck around it. Yeah. The one that has the stand. The one that has. You should have. You should have. You should have been more insightful you should have had better standards you understand what i'm saying i think that yeah yeah it's, that ship has sailed so i feel like because you you were too busy focusing on someone that was not offering you anything the one that was offering you something all right, the one that was giving you the time, the one that was giving you the attention, the one that was trying to make things grow with you, the one that was the healthy relationship. You're going to get a message this August that they're tired of this shit. They know exactly what's going on. They're aware that you are not able to, you know, devote your whole self to them. So they're going to cut you out. They don't have time to invest that way they are more mature and they have a better standard of life a better standard of living and they know better you understand they know better and they know their worth so they're moving on these are two cards of separation communication of separation this one this king of cups he's moving on he's moving on he feels like you have another lover that you're a traitor, that you deceived them, that you manipulated them, they look at you, that you are withdrawn, that you are investing your time, you know, like you're overworked, like by the time you even get to them, you could even be too tired. And maybe you're even communicating to this person, oh, I'm working, I'm working, I'm tired, I'm tired, and this, this, and that. And that's why you can't see them, that's why you can't talk to them, and this person knows you're not working. This person is not stupid. Jon Snow is not stupid. This person is well aware of what's going on. And this person is going to send you a letter of communication that they're cutting you out. That's why I'm telling you now. Sorry. That's why I'm trying to tell you now that you need to really invest your time wisely. You need to think about what you're doing. Give me guidance. 
Oh gosh, I hope I don't have to leave. What is this saying? Patience. Patience. Plant that seed and allow it to grow. I want you to use this energy. Use this lesson. Because I feel like this is a lesson that, somebody, that God already taught you. Movement, choices, and decision. Discontent and bored. Yeah. And it's sad because it's like, I feel like you guys had a good person and you let this person walk away for somebody that you know that there's not going to be any movement in that relationship and you're discontent and bored. That's why you were cheating anyway. Or that's why you were, and I'm not saying that you were cheating, that you were sexually intimate with this person. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not seeing no sexual intimacy here. But I do see a new love. You understand that it was a spark of a new love, but I don't see that it went very far. Because you still were entertaining someone where y'all's relationship wasn't going anywhere. You know, it wasn't going to res result to marriage or anything like that. If anything, it was a burden to you and you were bored and discontent by it. But you kept held, held on to it. You kept holding on to that, being patient, waiting for that to grow. All the while worrying. This is going to be my last chance. This is going to be my last chance. You're trying to make this right. Knowing. It's, and it's like. And I really do feel like Capricorn kept, 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 kept. Trying to. Have patience with the wrong situation. And waiting for that to grow. And every time God would be like. This is not what you need. Let me give you this over here. Y'all would get distracted for that for a short little bit. Y'all would entertain it. But because it felt too good. Y'all felt safe of being in something that wasn't right for you you know what i'm saying and you and, and you keep losing you keep losing out what is it saying manifesting miracles your dream is soon about to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance you need to plant new seeds i don't want you to keep having wasted opportunities in love because you're literally wasting and you are passing up good opportunities and it's like your sh and that's why you feel like autumn autumn is my last chance because you felt like you just seen the ship sail you just seen one that just walked away you just seen a good one that you just fucked up with like you just fucked up with somebody you know and you just like man this is my last chance to try to get away this is my last time it's my last chance to Plant the right type of seeds because I'm fucking bored. I'm tired of my life being like this. Can y'all tell me, like, what is it about that King of Coins that is so amazing that y'all keep holding on to this one that y'all are messing up actually good things? Because, you know, one thing I can't say, Capricorn, a lot of people, they know that they're dealing with a piece of shit at home. But they don't even be having no other prospects. Y'all always be having other prospects. Like, <laughs> y'all always have that shit popping. It's just that y'all always choose the wrong. Listen, y'all always choose the one that don't love you. Always. Always. And it's just like you got to rebalance. Listen, you got the world in your hand. You got the world in your hand. You have a new opportunity right in front of your face. But somehow... It's very, very hard. It's like it's, it's very hard for you to leave this other wand behind to go and search for a new world and a new opportunity and new blessings. It's just you keep looking back to that wand, you know. Like, well, if I take my world and if I put it over there, is it going to work out? It never works out. That's why you over here. So it's about time that you wrap your head around this shit. Like, listen, love don't live here anymore. There's a vacancy. Love don't live here no more. I cannot keep trying to put forth action somewhere that doesn't want to put action into me. This person does not love me. Listen, the nine, what is this, the nine of wands? Oh, no. What is this? Oh, this is the seven of wands. This is the seven of wands. I see you like kneeling down and you're praying before you got to go in a battle because you know that it's a battle ahead of you. And it's like you praying and you asking God for strength because 
I just feel like you're tired of fighting, like, almost. I feel like this is someone that is fighting for recognition. This is someone that is fighting because they're tired of competing. It's like, I'm trying to beat all of my components. And I feel like you just beat a list of opponents before. And it's like, before you can even sit down and rest, you're having to get up and having to fight again. And it's like, oh, Lord, here I am again. I got to go and fight another group of people. And that's this King of Coins bringing you all this drama. This is a married man that don't act like he married. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hmm. The high priestess. And you're withdrawing yourself because you've been through this fight too many goddamn times with this person. Like I told you, you just knocked out several other opponents. And it's like now this person is putting you through the same bullshit yet again. And you just like, you know what? Time out. Time out. Time the fuck out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because I'm not about to lose hope. This number six, I'm about to take my peace and my harmony and I'm taking my world and I'm moving the fuck on because this person has shown me more than enough time that this person does not love me. They keep putting me through the same fucking bullshit and I done let this one get away. I done let so many good people get away. Keep trying to look and every time you try to get away, you see how this person is lurking up behind you. It's like every time Capricorn tries to leave this person and take their world and move on elsewhere, this person don't want you to go you know Lord Jesus this person does not want you to go and that's why Capricorn is like I don't give a damn what you want me to do I am going to clean up my yard and I'm going to patiently wait to get the blessings that is rightly for me so you see Capricorn is cleaning up their yard right now because I really do feel like Capricorn lost out on somebody like I just heard the one that got away like I like the one that got away you know Capricorn might be trying to get their shit cleaned up so they can go back and get that one that got away, Mr. John Snow, Mr. King of Cups. Y'all might be trying to clean up y'all shit so y'all can go back and get that Cancer Pisces, that Scorpio, okay? You guys are getting y'all thoughts together. You guys are getting your foundation. You guys are getting spiritually grounded. And you got to do this shit by yourself. You just, you just don't need any distractions right now. This is someone... That is planted new seeds. Like I said, you realize that this is a magical apple. I can't, don't sit there and eat it and throw away the pit. Plant the seeds. You know what I'm saying? So, this is you putting your hard work in, planting your seeds, and you doing it by yourself, and you knowing that you got to do this shit by yourself. I'm not being codependent no more. I can do everything by myself if I put my focus and my energy on doing things right this time. And that's exactly what Capricorn is doing. Doing things absolutely right this time. All right. Let me do one more spread. I got to put this video on pause. And then I'm going to be right back. Right after this spread you guys. All right. So let's see what's going on in love. And I just heard, like, a lot of this can have something to do with work as well. You guys, I'm holding on to a job with that King of Coins in reverse that ain't paying you nothing. That's underpaying you and that's undervalu undervaluing you. And even if you love working there, these motherfuckers keep stabbing you in your back. And they're not giving you the pay raise and the amount of money that you, you know, that you deserve. And you got an uh, opportunity here with the King of Cups. Well, they're offering you a better chance and you're confused because you've worked at this place for so long and you're just waiting for them to do what, you know, to give you the proper pay raise. But at the same time, it's just like, this one sounds, this opportunity over here sounds a little better. You scared to take a change of direction, a new change. You you scared to, you scared. And I'm, I really do feel like some of y'all need counseling. Third party, the mask. Y'all really are just like addicted to these third party situations. It's like I'm really getting it. Someone ain't cheating on you, beating on you, manipulating you, using you. It ain't love to you. And that's really fucking sad. That is not a healthy relationship. That is not love. Listen, you don't know how to take a new direction. You don't know how to take a new direction because you have to reach down deep inside of yourself and forgive yourself for allowing and accepting this type of shit. I don't know why. 
you get your rocks off from this shit. This third party shit, I don't know. Is it exciting to you or something? I don't know. I really do feel like it's exciting to you. Like, it's a thrill. It's thrill. Like, you're a thrill seeker or something like that. If it's not sex, drug, rock and roll, if it's not drama, if it's not chaos, it's not interesting to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys almost feel like a regular relationship with someone is not cheating and there's no drama going on like this shit is boring and that's crazy you know what i'm saying and like it's really crazy and i really do feel like that's why y'all doing this soul searching and trying to clean up y'all environment because you guys be wearing a mask sometimes too capricorn because it's like you want better but you gotta do better baby you gotta do better you gotta want better do you understand what I'm saying? You really, really do. Because deep inside, you're, you're just as bad as the people that you're complaining about. Because you'll throw that mask on and you'll put them in a third party situation as well. You don't be doing no better. You understand? You're not prepared to stop the numbing. I feel like you guys... You guys just put little band-aids on to stop the pain. And you don't permanently put it into this numbing sensation deep inside of you that you need to do some inner work some inner changing you have to look at things and you have to look at life as the blessing that it is and you have to change and you have to want more because at the end of the day god keeps offering you opportunities where you can have people that genuinely love you and want to be with you and stuff but you don't know what to do with it when you get it you get confused and you put this shit on pause and then when people leave you, you'll be like, well, wait, 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 where are you going? What do you mean where I'm going? You put me on pause. <laughs> what you mean? What in the hell do you mean? Okay? What do you mean? I should be able to finish this. Let me do this. And we are out of here. Okay. Oh, okay. What is this? The King of Cups in reverse. So it's like you guys... You guys seem to attract people that are emotionally unavailable and emotionally manipulative and abusive to you guys for some reason. Um, like you need some type of karmic balance here. And I really do feel like the reason why you attract the type of people that you attract is because of the shit that you do to people. It's like when people come around you and they genuinely like you and they're trying to do good to you, you cheat on them and you manipulate them and you abuse them with these fuck niggas or these stupid ass women that y'all deal with and you end up hurting other people and it ends up coming back to you do you understand what i'm saying you fall in love with people that are emotionally unavailable to you and you hurt people chasing behind emotionally unavailable people people that don't give nothing to you which starts a cycle of bad karma you understand so it's like you have to break this mold. You have to break this stuff. This night of call, you have to stop dealing with people that are not offering you anything. You understand? And even to you, it seems like they're offering something to you, but it's taking so long for it to give it to you. Did you really get anything? You have to have better judgment than that. You have to have better judgment. You got to stop chasing these third-party relationships of people that ain't giving you shit and are not, are, not, are not emotionally available to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they go that third-party cup. They go to three of cups. If it ain't drama, it ain't, it ain't fulfilling to you. You have to change that. There's something in you, the three of coins. You have to work on that. You have to work on that. You love relationships that are chock full of fucking drama. It ain't them, it's you. It's not them, it's you. It's what you are attracting. It's what you think is attractive. Because... If it was any of the other signs, if they even had an iota of how many opportunities of actual love, like Capricorn and my lion, how many times have y'all been proposed marriage to? I'm hearing three, four, two. Do you know how it is, people, and you go on other signs that they haven't been proposed to not one time? Not one time. And you guys have actually good people that want to commit to you, want to give you everything. And you guys hurt them and you treat them like shit. 
running around people that hurt you and treat you like shit when you got people out here crying just because they want one person to propose to them when you have many but if someone is too good to you and treating you in the way that a man or woman is supposed to treat you is boring <laughs> give me my last spread for you guys for August but don't give up hope you, you just gotta change your thinking beard not only that, I'm like, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all deal with people that you are a fucking cover up for their lifestyle. Like, as I, these people, it's like, they just like you to hang on to them just so it can make it look good for them. You know what I'm saying? Or their only reason why they're committing themselves to you is because they need a place to stay. They need you to hide. It's like... They like to hide up under you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they don't have to go out and commit themselves to getting a job. Commit themselves to being an adult. Commit. You understand what I'm saying? This person doesn't want to work. Doesn't want to do anything. So they come hide up under your coattail. So you take care of them. Either that or these motherfuckers are gay. And you're a beard. And you're just a cover up. You are trying to pull yourself out of this gray area. Right now, you're depressed, you're detached, and you're unemotional. You're trying to pull yourself out of this gray area. And just know that you're protected. If you see a lot of feathers floating around, that's a sign of protection. Do you understand? And you're... This, your life is going to take off like a rocket. You just have to get out of your own way and manifest miracles again. Your dreams are soon going to become reality. Trust in your heart and continue to follow your guidance. You have to allow this seed to grow, but it can't grow if you don't plant it. You have to plant it and want it to grow because if you keep entertaining and planting your seeds and investing your time in people that ain't giving you shit you ain't doing nothing but hurting other people that really do want you and creating bad karma for you that you will have to answer to anyway i gotta run i'm sorry i'm in a rush i love you bye